Channel 9 remains committed to covering issues of mental health, breaking the stigma and getting people to talk about and reach out for help. But a shortage of African-American and Spanish-speaking mental health professionals can make it tough for some people of color to find someone to reach out to. Channel 9's anchor Brittany Johnson explains the issue and what's being done about it. Yeah, 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 it's definitely hot. Rashawn Miller is a rarity in Charlotte, an African-American man who works in the mental health field. We see therapy on TV and we see it in movies and there's a lot of times it's an older white male. He entered the field after struggling with his own mental health when he was younger, ultimately pursuing a degree in counseling, then a PhD in psychology. When I was growing up, I would, especially in the black community, we're always taught, you know, especially as a black man, you only be able to show anger and happiness, and that's it. Uh, so you suppress everything else. And in the mental health care field, it's critical to understand that type of upbringing. Nationwide, it's estimated that just 1% of psychiatrists are African American. Certainly, many professionals are skilled at cutting through cultural differences, but experts say that cultural competency is a serious issue in the mental health field. I do get requests. I'd like to see a black female. I'd like to see a black male. I'd like to see someone who's Millennial. Erica Ellis Stewart with Mental Health America of Central Carolinas says cultural competency can make a tremendous difference in the success of mental health treatment. Do they understand the cultural context from which I'm coming from? Do they understand the culture that I live in? The organization's website offers a directory of licensed providers intended to reflect the area's diversity. But Ella Stewart says Charlotte's growing international community means more diversity is needed among providers. And some of the challenges are more basic than you may realize. Are there even the words in that language to talk about things like depression, anxiety, suicide, when they're not even words in the lexicon to address it? How do you begin to have those conversations? Just seeing someone that looks like you automatically breaks down a barrier. Perla Castro is with Thompson Child and Family Focus, which provides, among other things, mental health services for children. The organization recently partnered with Charlotte's Latin American Coalition to provide more Spanish language mental health care for families they serve. Using interpreters is helpful, but a lot gets lost in translation. So having someone that speaks the same native tongue you do is I think is just key. I understood what seeing a, a black male therapist did for me. For Rashawn Miller, it, it also mean, means connecting in a man. different we, way. We, we He's man. almost we, always we, in a t-shirt and to jeans, to not a suit. To, uh, he says uh, it makes him more relatable to the young black men he works with. I make them comfortable. And once they get comfortable, they start to open up about eating and everything. And that, he says, is when the healing begins. Brittany Johnson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Johnson C. Smith University officials say the number of students there pursuing psychology degrees have dropped by about a third over the past decade. And one professor said it might be in part to a drop in the amount of scholarship money for social and behavioral science majors. Mental Health America of Central Carolina is, is going to be working to raise awareness for this and other issues all surrounding mental health. They have an event coming up this week called Art in Mind. That's Thursday night at 7 o'clock at the Harvey B. Gantt Center. Details are along with this story on our WSOC News app. Also on our app, we have a county-by-county -county list of mental health resources all across our Channel 9 viewing area.